up y'all, Manny here. And today I'm gonna to talk about one of my favorite gaming series from my childhood, which is the Sonic the Hedgehog games that came out on the Sega Genesis. Now my dilemma is that I did not know how to go on about doing these reviews. I could just do all the games in one video or spread them out. So what I decided to do was to start in the very beginning, which is Sonic the Hedgehog 1 that came out in 1991. Now for those who saw my Sonic movie review, you know that my first Sonic game was Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which holds a special place in my heart. So after playing the crap out of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, then to go back and to play the first game? Oof. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I don't like this game. Let, let's, let's discuss why. <sighs> okay, maybe I should start with the origins and the early history of Sonic the Hedgehog. So let, let's do that first. Sonic the Hedgehog was created by Naoto Oshima and Yuji Naka. I hope I said that right. So basically, Sega wanted their own mascot to rival that of Nintendo's flagship character of Mario. And man, were they successful! Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis released in June 23rd, 1991 and sold millions and millions of copies worldwide. This game breathed life into the Sega Genesis and made it super competitive against the Super Nintendo, making the 16-bit console war that much more competitive and epic. Again, great time to be alive in. So Sega had a supersonic hit in their hands that is still relevant today. Yeah, Sonic Frontiers looks pretty promising. So yes, this is why I think it's important to review this game first because without it, there will be no Sonic uh, anything. But at the same time, I have to be honest. So here we go. I played Sonic the Hedgehog in the Sonic Origins collection on the PS4, which honestly is not much of a difference from playing it on the Sega Genesis. It's the same game and it's not gonna change my mind one way or another anyways. This is pretty much a Sonic the Hedgehog game I remember. So for you purists out there, sorry, but this is how I'm gonna play the game. So as for story, there's not much of a story in this game. You know, it was a 90s game from the 16-bit era so the story wasn't the main focus here but anyways the story is that dr robotnik aka eggman kidnap a bunch of animals and put them in machines and then sonic would you know go and save them and break him free the chaos emeralds are also here and dr robotnik either has them already or wants them you know to harness their power and take over the world I, I don't know they don't make that really clear in this game yes in future sonic games they're you know the plot is more outlined if you never heard of this game before and you, all you had is the cartridge and you pop it into the sega genesis and you play it this is all you're gonna get out of it so yeah so everybody knows this already but just in case at the beginning of every level you just run forward and you pick up speed you could roll and go faster until you reach the end of the level as you're running around you collect rings which counts for your health if you get hit you will lose all your rings and if you get hit again without any rings you die you can collect a blue shield so you could take an extra hit without losing any rings and if you play the original and you fall on spikes you will die pretty much instantly because the invisibility frame is non-existent here for some reason as a kid i thought that was just you know part of the game it's like you know in Mega Man, if you touch your spikes you're instantly dead but no uh, apparently this is a glitch and it was fixed for this uh, origins collection so that doesn't happen anymore but yeah you could turn it on if you want to get an even more authentic experience now this is the first time i record gameplay and there was a bit of lag in my control input so i thought it was just you know because i'm recording it but then i did play sonic the hedgehog 2 and that wasn't an issue, so I don't know if that's like an actual thing for Sonic 1. You know what? I'm not gonna play this game again, so I'm not gonna research that if you know if you play it regularly or on a Sega Genesis if it has that same lag. So I'm just not gonna use it against it right now. So you have Green Hill Zone, Marvel Zone, Spring Yard Zone, Labyrinth Zone, Starlight Zone, Scrap Brain Zone, and Final Zone. So there are seven zones with each zone containing three levels except for the final zone that only has one level which is the final boss fight and i hate the fact that each zone has three levels it just feels so much longer and tedious and yeah it's better with the two levels per zone formula that sonic 2 started now this is very apparent in this game because after green hill zone basically all the other zones are just platforming levels and you don't have many chances to really you know go super fast and speed up so the levels drag on quite a bit and you have to do that three times and it's just ah oh, it's it's not fun now if you're familiar with this game just take a guess what my least favorite level in this whole game is 
Go on, it's it's obvious. It's, I'm not breaking any new ground here. My least favorite level in this game is Labyrinth Zone. F this level. And yes, level, the whole thing, all three acts, they suck ass. You're underwater, you gotta f***ing find a bubble every f***ing minute. And then that tense ass music starts that gives you f***ing anxiety, even if you don't have anxiety. And then sometimes the bubbles don't come out and you die. You die, die, die. You move so slow. The game is about speed and just, there's no, ah, oh, it's so slow and long. Why is this, these levels so long? This takes forever, and the boss fight is ass. It, it, it's just you jumping up and chasing Dr. Robotnik to the top, and that's it. There's, like, no creativity here. Like, were they running out of time? Like, what, what happened? What kind of boss fight is this? That's the main issue with this game. A lot of the levels here have no, or little to no, speed. Why would you want to play a Sonic game? Is to go fast and do the loops and, you know, run around and stuff and go to speed. Blast processing, damn it. Jumping ahead here a bit to a future episode of just cuz reviews uh, whenever I get to it but this is why I don't really like Sonic CD as much either because it has a more emphasis on platforming and exploring when they give you a 10 minute limit anyways it's like what's the point this is not fun that's why I enjoy Sonic the Hedgehog 2 way more than this game back then I didn't like it I didn't like it a few years ago I don't like it now it's just not fun I was like ugh, I don't like I didn't want to review this game to be honest, but again, it's just so important and I recognize that. I recognize this game is super important. Without it, there would be no Sonic games or Sonic movies or whatever. And again, Sonic was a big part of my childhood, so I am thankful for that. I am thankful for the creators for, you know, making this game in the first place, but I just don't like it. It's not my cup of tea. Even Green Hill Zone, I am not a big fan of it. I feel like Emerald Hill Zone in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is much better. But that's just me. Again, that's the one I played first. Starlight Zone was actually pretty good. That one has more speed parts to it. So that one was actually pretty fun. So I had a good time playing Starlight Zone. But as for everything else, it's just so slow and boring and long. And you can't spin dash. Though with the copy of this one, you could turn that on. But honestly, why bother? Because this game was not designed for the spin dash. And you're going to be spinning dashing to your death quite a few times like I did. And you could also turn on the elemental shields in even supersonic mode that wasn't the original that's why i feel like if you want to play son of the hedgehog part one and you're familiar with the other ones you like the other ones better playing it in the sonic origins collection will be the better bet once i turn on debug mode which lets you put whatever items you want in the level and basically just you know spawn whatever you want that made it a lot of fun i really got to get revenge on the special levels here too because the special levels here suck i don't like it either it's just like turning it's like hard to control you really don't have much control here yeah like you could probably get good at it but i did not want to waste my time because in the original game you don't get supersonic like i said you just collect it to get like a nice little special ending where flowers grow and the emeralds just vanished. So it's not really worth getting the emeralds. So yeah, in debug mode here, you could really mess with the special levels. You could spawn the chaos emerald right there if you want to and just, you know, get it that way. Also, the challenges for uh, Sonic 1 in the Sonic Origins collection uh, was actually really fun. It's not that hard. It's, you know, there's a few, there's like, I think three or four of them that I didn't get the, the S rank. For most of them, I I got, I passed them all with S and, you know, it was fun. It was actually a lot of fun. It was enjoyable and doable. So yeah, my favorite part of Sonic 1 was all the little enhancements that you get from the Sonic Origins collection. So, yeah. <laughs> So to recap, I don't like this game because it has a heavy emphasis on platforming while speed takes a back seat. And you really feel the lack of speed when you have to platform for three acts per zone with some very slow moving platforms and terrible water levels. The bonus stages suck, I don't like him. There's no point in really collecting all the Chaos Emeralds just to get a crappy ending where flowers come out. And the boss fights are simply bland and boring. The final boss in particular too sucks, he's not that memorable or epic. On the flip side, the music is actually pretty good here. Scrap Brain Zone in particular is one of my favorites. Green Hill Zone is pretty fun, I guess, and so is uh, Starlight Zone. If only the rest of the game was designed like these levels. You can tell this is their first attempt at this. Like, come on Sonic 1, I just wanna go fast. Gotta go fast. But since Sonic the Hedgehog 1991 is not letting me go fast, I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. So yeah, that's my opinion on it. I know it's not gonna be popular, but hey, that's just how I feel about it. Um, I respect this for being you know, a pioneer for Sonic and getting him out there. 
That's why we got the follow up and whatnot with Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic 3 Knuckles. So I do appreciate it for that. But yeah, again, if maybe if I played this game first, I would have liked it more. The, the sequel just outdid the crap out of the first game. But again, I still appreciate what it did. And you know, this is where Sonic started. So I appreciate it for that. Anyways, this has been a review of Sonic the Hedgehog 1991, Just Cause.